Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer on A Prayer When Everything Goes Wrong together. A Prayer When Everything Goes Wrong by Kelly Bellari Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted there by the devil. For forty days and forty nights he fasted and became very hungry. Matthew 4, 1-2 Everything I said to my friend she misinterpreted. It was aggravating and infuriating. My hands gripped the steering wheel like a vice clamping wood. At this point, I knew if I told her my shirt was blue, she would adamantly proclaim it was purple. Our communication was missing the target. Face red and heart pounding, I did the only thing I knew to do. Console her feelings, speak truth, and try to turn misunderstanding into understanding. Yet doing that was not an easy task. My mind was run down by an illness. I felt stressed from work pressures and unsure about what the future held. Mind spinning, I tried to remember where I was and how everything had gone so wrong. I can't take this, God. My whole world is blowing up before me. How did I end up here? I wonder, dear friend, if like me, you might be in a place where everything appears to be going wrong, where no matter how hard you try, things don't work out. Where no matter what you resolve to do in the morning, it goes bust by afternoon. Where family relations feel hard. Where circumstances just aren't working out. Where fear is mounting. Where it appears there is no way out. Desert spaces are where Satan comes to convince us we've been deserted by God. We learn much from Jesus' time in the wilderness on how he defeated the devil. He did these three things. One, Jesus told Satan no. Two, Jesus proclaimed people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Three, Jesus used scripture to combat enemy lies. It is important to note Jesus was not brought to the desert to die from hunger and attacks. He was brought to the desert to release the overcoming power that defeats the devil. It was after this wilderness season that Jesus went out in power ministry. In our places of defeat, as we overcome, we are transformed into freedom liberators and power troopers of God's cause. Nothing can stop us because we know how to overcome the enemy of our souls. Think. The Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. Isn't that wild? The Lord of Lords, the Son of God, the perfect Lamb who embodies sinlessness, was led by God into the wilderness. Our God is not a wasteful God. He is a purposeful God. Just as the wilderness was Jesus' launching pad, what if it is ours too? Let's pray. Father, this is a hard place to be. Often I feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. There are days or times where I don't think I can make it. I need your strength. I need your wisdom. I need your guidance. I want to do your will. I want to walk in the fruits of the Spirit and in the ways of the Spirit. Will you give me fresh strength for remaining steadfast? fresh resolve for enduring, and fresh hope for believing. There's only one way, and it is you. There's only one door, and it is you, Christ Jesus. Give me power not to turn to other vices, but to endure and to persevere. 
I may feel pressured, but I'm not crushed. I may feel persecuted, but I'm not abandoned. I may feel struck down, but I'm not destroyed. Give me your eyes to love others, even in the face of the fires all around me. Help me to keep hope that you are carrying me through. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.